burning embers, swirling winds and slow-moving walls of fire. That's Martin Greenwood's description of the Auroral Valley Fire. It sets a sombre tone for the book. As we were um, looking up at the mountain, you could just see the smoke would split apart and the fire front was just absolutely enormous, just ripping across the side of the valley almost as fast as you could watch it. A blaze is dedicated to firefighters who've lost their lives. Three members of the Rural Fire Service uh, in the ACT uh, died during that season. Not as a direct result of the fire, but they were significant veterans and part of our firefighting community. The weighty tome chronicles the breadth of deployments. Up to um, Lamington National Park, up to Rockhampton. So we had people on the ground at the fires right from the beginning of that season in Queensland. Scenes of complete and utter destruction are teamed with images of mateship and adventure and of furry friends made along the way. They can show it to their friends and family, their work colleagues, their employers with pride and say, like, this is what we did. Like, we saved these houses. Like, we worked with this community. From the more than 5,000 photos submitted, just over 700 have been included. Some of the photos that we selected may not have been technically excellent, but if we felt that um, it helped tell the story, we would include it. Short stories help paint the picture of that horrendous summer. A poem and thank you cards are among the highlights. The projects are really about telling firefighters stories from their perspective. It's a perspective you often don't hear. Firefighters don't tend to push their own agenda all that much. Flames 60 metres high. The next step is to make a film. And then everything just started to ember. Heartbreaking reminders of that extraordinary black summer. Sarah Porter, ABC News. Canberra.